the record, but great point <laughs> for Martina Ingus. The concerned person looking on is Heinz Gunhart. Last year he had to sit through five sets before Steffi Groff won the championships. just a little bit, maybe cramps or something. And Steffi's actually uh, was holding the back of her back. So perhaps both players, we have seen the best tennis in the last couple of games as far as length of rallies. <laughs> she's a little tired, but she's happy. She's serving for the fourth set, up 5-1. That was almost as if she felt something in her, in uh, Martina's back there. She kind of loosed as though something caught. In any case, She's up 5-1. 5-1 in the fourth. She's trying to stretch out her, her leg. And I see it's obviously the mobility is limited right now. Mm -hmm. I believe that was going to be an outright winner from anywhere. She went for this backhand and she didn't hit the winner and so she didn't even try to recover in a great flick of the wrist from Groff's forehand. <laughs> she got it. The second serve ace, her third. Nine aces now in the game. In the match, excuse me. The crowd always loves when the ball gets stuck in the net. It brings laughter every time. You'd think they would have gotten tired of it. <laughs> They're easily amused. It's just long. One block down. Two breaks in this first set. Now yeah. uh, they've been out on court for two hours exactly. And this is struck a lot of winners off that racket in this fourth set. The third set, she only hit four winners. She's got herself 13 in this set. And a great point for Steffi Groff. One of the two boats back possibility. So Stephen Groff is able to get one of the breaks back. She's still down 2-5. Martina Hingis was attended to. It seems like she's having a problem with her quad muscle, and this is what happened earlier. And you'll see her in obvious discomfort. She's still up the break in the first set. Asked for the trainer to come out. And the big ovation that you hear take a little bit longer to take her position as her mother looks on. She's now ready to face Groff again here in the fourth. <laughs> Seven aces now for Steffi Groff. Whoa. 
two in a row. Talking to Steffi yesterday, Pam, she said also if she was down to best of five, if she was down, she would have put points. If she was down like this, two five. to the drop shot going the one-handed good touch and Groff almost gets the lob over Hingis's head. She's able to just get her racket head on the overhead. And now she has a set point. changing in this match. We go to Deuce. And Graf led 30-11. This game started off the game with two aces in a row, and when she dropped the sixth game of this set, she was up 30-love again and dropped four points in a row. It's very unusual to see Graf dropping serves from 30-love up. Now three aces in this game. Nine now for Steffi Groff. Side. That was the best one and the first one we've seen off the forehand side. It is a tougher side to hit that kind of feel drop shot, but played to perfection. And now Steffi again. A point away from holding serve. So Martina Hingis will serve for the first set. And I'm not sure if Steffi Graf's uh, feeling 100% either. A bit of grimace there from Steffi. 